A few months ago, I posted this video where I asked the question, what is the brainiest bug? And there's no doubt about it, it was a tightly fought contest. There were the eusocial insects, the bees, the wasps, the ants and the termites, which exercised their noggins by basically being massive extroverts, both within and between their colonies. It turns out they're also pretty good at finding their house, which is quite surprising because I don't know about you, but every wasp I've seen on a summer's day looks absolutely pissed. <laughs> We also explored the dietary world of the scarab beetle and found that generalist feeders tend to have enhanced learning and memorization capabilities. In insects, learning and memory is coordinated by an area of the insect brain called the mushroom body. And the larger the mushroom body, the more intelligent the insect is. Now, there was one group of brainy bugs which I didn't really explore in that much detail in that video. That was a group of remarkable butterflies called the Heliconius. Now, these butterflies are actually native to Central and South America, but here have been the explanations. No expenses spared, because I've made it all the way to the Andean cloud forests to try and find some. I have hit 2,000 subscribers after all. Let's go! I don't believe it. I was just walking along this snake infested path here. And I've just spotted the fairy butterfly I've traveled all this way to see. I think this is Heliconius errato, also known as the postman butterfly. And to be honest, I'm not surprised because it's certainly delivered today. Just look at that. These butterflies have the largest mushroom bodies of any butterfly or moth in the world. And on top of that, they've evolved them in a very, very short period of evolutionary time, around 12 million years to be precise, which may not mean a lot to you, but I imagine 12 million years is the time that feels like has passed after watching a single episode of EastEnders. To put that into perspective, the eusocial insects, the bees, the wasps and the ants, evolved these large mushroom bodies around 200 million years ago. So that's probably what it feels like after watching an entire box set of EastEnders. But why do these Heliconius butterflies have such large mushroom bodies? Well, it all comes down to what they eat. You see, unlike most other butterflies, which primarily feed on nectar, Heliconius actually feed on the pollen itself. Now that may not seem outrageously significant, but feeding on pollen provides the butterflies with essential amino acids that are thought to increase longevity. In other words, how long they live for. And if you're a butterfly which lives for longer, then life starts to become slightly more worth remembering. After all, on the whole, butterflies just tend to be a bunch of free spirits that live fast and die young. How irresponsible. Now it stands to reason then that if you're a Heliconius butterfly, the key thing to remember is where those pollen sources are located. Now the thing is that they're not distributed evenly in the forests in which they live. So to make the process easier, after the butterflies have got up each morning and brushed their teeth, they go around visiting these plants in a set order every day before coming together in the evening in a communal roost to discuss the day's gossip. And this behavior is called trapline foraging. It's only possible because of the spatial learning and memorization capabilities of those enlarged mushroom bodies. And not only that, but this unique foraging strategy has enabled Heliconius to boldly go where no other butterfly has gone before, allowing them to exploit new niches and therefore making them one of the most successful group of butterflies in Latin America. Fair play, fair play mate. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd just quite like to say thank you also because this channel has recently 
hit 2,000 subscribers, which is just crazy. And if you'd like to be part of this nature and science community and you're not already, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you can stay updated with all the gossip. I'm also on social media, the links are in the description below this video too. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching, love you all lots, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye! Let's get scratching.